Man, I'm in full diamond. Ender Dragon, you're next. Hey guys, it's Jayblader. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're doing the fifth episode of the Stranded series, if you can believe it or not. And I think that I can make some Eyes of Ender, which are going to be super useful for finding the Stronghold. I grabbed a bunch of items that I might need as we go, so let's go up to the surface and we'll start throwing some Eye of Ender and try to locate a Stronghold today. If this is your first time watching this series, welcome! We are just simply trying to beat the game, defeat the Ender Dragon, and our challenge this time was basically the entire world is an ocean. So first few episodes were rough but now we're doing pretty good we got diamond tools and diamond gear let's see in which direction these uh, ender pearls and stuff are kind of hard to get so I hope I don't break too many let's throw up in the air that way don't break please uh, it broke okay not not gonna worry we're gonna go a long way this way and keep throwing these I'll throw these like every 200 blocks I have ender do kind of point towards the stronghold and the entrance of a stronghold so uh, time to time to be an explorer on the ocean again still going this way hey, I got this one back let's go the eyes of Ender started going down towards the ground so I mine down here and hopefully I'm getting kind of close when I if I hit an open ravine or something you know what this is a relatively open area let's throw one uh it still says it's up this way and there's no way I'm getting that eye of ender back that's okay we still got 13 and I think I'm just gonna go in this direction well this is something you don't see every day a creeper some iron some slime and a bit of a stronghold uh I'm gonna have to take these guys out I guess I'll leave these little guys. They're not hurting anything. Let's take a peek into the stronghold. Oh, this is seems to be the top of it. And of course, I'm looking for two things. The library room, although I don't have 30 levels, so it's not like level 30 enchanting will help me. I guess I could get 30 levels. Um, but of course, looking for the portal room. And these things usually have a pretty uh, consistent type of, type of structure. So I'm gonna try to find it pretty quickly. Oh, well, here's the library. Uh, I guess we could use this to... I brought my enchanting table just in case I wanted to do some enchanting here. But like I said, I don't have 30 levels, so I'm not sure if the enchanting really does me much good. I guess I could try to get some better... Ooh. Ooh. Things in here. I'll take those. Smite 4, power 4. Okay, the power 4 is pretty big, but I didn't bring an anvil. Well, that's kind of silly of me, I guess. Well, while I'm here, I guess we could try to do some enchanting of some sort. So let me clear these out. And you know what? Let's clear out... I'm trying to think of the best place to put a table to get the full effects of enchanting. We'll do that. Oh, I got a few levels. And I think can I can use these to get some decent enchant. This actually should be like a full enchanting table set up. So, uh, I guess these need to be one block closer, don't they? Uh, oh well, okay, let's, let's see. So what I can do is make an extra sword. I think the sword is going to be the big, big piece that I'm going to want to get better items on, just for damage. Sharpness four. Okay, let's re-roll that. Sweeping edge one doesn't help me. Feather falling two could save my life, straight up. Unbreaking three, not going to help me. All right, well, I'm not getting any worthwhile enchants doing this, but it was worth uh, worth trying out. I guess I could try my bow before I run out of levels. Power two is better than power one. We'll take it. I'll dump the rest of the stuff in here that I don't think I'll need. Okay, with that out of the way, let's find our way to the portal room and try to be safe about it. It's pretty easy to get lost in these things, so I, I gotta be careful. I found another library. Not a short shortening of uh of books here, and an amethyst. Oh, I hear silverfish, which is good and bad. It's good because it means that the room is near. The bad thing, ooh, apples. That means we can make golden apples if need be. The bad news, of course, is that these little boogers stink. Ah, and they make a mess of everything. Stop it! Stop it! 
I usually just break it right off the bat. I've never seen that. A double entrance to this? That is crazy. Let's just get rid of this lava. Well, this might be it. Let's, uh, I think I'm ready just to hop in. We've got enough eyes of ender. That was my main concern. Oh, all right. Well, if I'm able to do this, if I'm able to defeat the ender dragon here. That will be the end of the challenge. It means we succeeded in beating Minecraft in an ocean only world, which uh, was quite a challenge. I brought some wool and wood just in case I wanted to try the, the, the little cheaty uh, bed method to defeat the dragon, but I'm not very, very good at that. So we're gonna try to do this the old fashioned way. I've got blocks in my hotbar just in case things go south. We got, got our strength potion. We got enough food for a little bit, I guess. Food is definitely the issue here. So let's make this quick. Okay, I'm procrastinating. You got me, let's do it. Well, it seems to be safe in here at least. Let's mine up and see what we're working with. Man, we're deep underground. Gotta watch out for those Endermen. Now, if you've never seen anyone defeat the Ender Dragon before, I don't know, have you, have you seen any Minecraft? Hopefully this isn't your first Minecraft series, but basically we've gotta remove these end crystals because like that, you see that effect on it. That means that uh, it is regenerating off of them. And I don't have unlimited arrows, so I need to be wise with my arrows. Only got 50. I find the best thing to do is sometimes just build up. Some of these we're going to have to build up to anyway. And then from up here, I should be able to hit a few of these a little bit easier. Like that. No prob problem. Okay, this is Dragon Breath. If I stand in it, it's going to do damage to me. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect the dragon breath to two shot me. But luckily I am good at Minecraft. Sometimes. Uh, I can definitely see food being a problem here. Let's try to quickly get our way uh, to defeating this. I'm about to start relying on apples. That tells you how drastic this may get. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I can get my items and we can pick up where we left off. It's like 500 blocks away, maybe, from uh, from my little base. And it's just an ocean ride there, so... It's not the end of the world, but definitely inconvenient, to say the least. Oh, I see my items. Maybe it won't... Uh... Oh, no! How, how am I supposed to do this? Okay. I got the rest of my items, at least. Water bucket, water bucket, yep, 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 yep. Bowls, soup, yep. Don't, bro, if you knock me off again, I... How many more of these things I got? Oh, there's one up here I didn't get. And then the one in the cage there, and then that one. Okay, not too bad, we can do this. I appear to have made an Enderman mad. Okay, got that one. <gasps> Oh, I'm so good. I'm like out of food though. I'm eating apples. And I kind of need to save these, I guess, if I ever needed to villager, whatever. You know what? If we ever get to that point, there probably won't. Probably won't be at that point, but we can get apples another way. I need survival. Okay. One more. I'm glad that explosion doesn't do more damage, or that would be quite dangerous. But uh, not that bad since the explosion damage isn't that crazy. My last food, the bead roots. Oh, she's coming down. She's coming down to roost. Oh. Now it's time to do the damage. There's a pretty good chance that the ender dragon just flings me into the air here. Okay, that could have been way worse. Two bead roots. I have two bead roots left. Hmm. Maybe I should have got more food before I came back. 
Coming down to roost again. I'm saving my arrows for when she's like flying down like this, basically. Halfway. Probably gonna turn and fling me in a second. Yep. She did. Did indeed fling me. I think if I could do one more, like a few more good hits with the bow and arrow like this. Oh, nice. And then like one more roost and we're good. Okay, 15 arrows. Cutting it close. Definitely cutting it close. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm a Hawkeye today. This might be it. That's it! Yes! We got it! Oh my gosh! That was so close. I have no HP. I have no HP at all. Oh. Uh. I can't tell if it's... It is mad at me. We're not playing that game. We're not playing. We're not playing. We're outie. We're out of there. We're done. Out of there. Mmm. Mmm. And back in the safety of the ocean... Well, well, well. We've conquered the blue planet. The dolphins jumping, the squid swimming, the fish meandering around. But we've done it. With two hearts to spare. Thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in to the series. I hope you enjoyed and let me know which biome challenge I should try next. Thanks for watching Stranded. And I will catch you guys on the next video.